everybody, it's Spencer from Spencer Drink Reviews and Shots. Here today we got our first alcohol review. It's the Mike's Hard Lemonade Strawberry. So this video is going to be 21 plus. If you're under 21, please don't watch. So it's our first alcohol review. So guys, let's go ahead, give it a try. So it's Mike's Hard Lemonade, the lemonade, the alcoholic lemonade. It has 5.5 alcohol. So guys, yeah, I can't wait to try it. I like lemonade. So guys, let's go ahead and give it a try. Damn. It's really, really, really sweet, but it tastes pretty damn good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Help me get these watch hours up. I'm trying to get monetized. I'm trying to get these views up. We're trying to get into the algorithm here. So yeah. <laughs> really good i think it's a 10 out of 10 it's just pretty just a really good tasting strawberry lemonade alcohol new video here it's another alcohol review it's the mike's hard lemonade original flavored another 21 plus video here guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this review here so let's get into this review here so it's the original mike's hard lemonade has the five percent alcohol it's lemonade. I really like lemonade. So the last time I tried Mike's, that strawberry flavor, oh man, that was really good here. So guys, let's go ahead and get the review done. Man, that tastes really good. It tastes perfect for a lemonade. Just sweet really 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 sweet guys so this is gonna be a 10 out of 10 in my books here guys so honestly I gotta try the mango and I gotta try the black cherry well honestly Mike's is looking really good really good had some really good lemonade so like I said it's a 10 out of 10 like conscribe thank you from Spencer Shrink Reviews and Chugs here too. We got a review here, guys. We got us a Mike's Hard Lemonade Black Cherry Chug. So, uh, it review, I mean, review. So, guys, be sure to hit the like button on this, like, comment, subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. So, let's go ahead and try the first step. Mm. Very good tasting. I absolutely like the cherry flavor here. So, and my, as usual, the Mike's hard drinks are sweet. And honestly, I like when my drinks are sweet because the sweeter they are, the better the taste in them. But that's just my opinion. So I think this is a good 9 out of 10, guys, here. So once again, this is a 21 plus. If you're not 21 years old, under the age of 21, you cannot watch this. So honestly, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. A good drink right here so probably one of the best of the Mike's hard flavors here guys sponsor from Spencer drink reviews and chugs here today we got another review video it's the another alcohol video it's the voodoo ranger hardened tea it's the lemon flavor guys so this is my first time trying this tea so honestly I'm gonna give you guys my opinions on this and try it so honestly it's another alcohol video it's, like I said it's 21 plus here since it's another alcohol review and this one has alcohol percent is seven by volume so it said it's made with real tea so honestly I'll give it a try yeah I don't know if I said I could really like the flavor a whole lot honestly I don't know if I really like alcoholic tea but I gotta try like the twisted the shan whatever that other twisted tea because this one isn't really good I'm gonna give this like a four out of ten just not good Ooh. let me know what you guys think in the comments like comments right thank you guys for watching what up everybody it's Spencer from Spencer Drink Reviews and Chugs here today we got another review video here it's another alcohol review so 
It's our very first beer review, which is the Stella Artois. So it's a beer, it's a premium lager beer. So guys, let's get into this review. So like I said, it's 21 plus. So if you're under 21 years old, you cannot watch this. So anyways, let's get into this review. So like I said, it's Stella Artois and it's made in another country. So I think it's somewhere in Europe, so I'm not sure exactly, but it's in Europe. But this is the American made version of this, so guys. So this has 5% alcohol in it, so yeah, I'm stoked to try this drink. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and try this drink. So I, before we get into this review, I hope you guys enjoy this. Help me hit the algorithm here. Give me my watch hours up. Oh. Okay, guys. It has that really nice, refreshing, malty taste. Like I said, I like it when the drinks are super malty. Very good. I should compare this with something like Coors Light or... Yeah. So, in my books, this is a 9 out of 10. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Nice and malty. And it also has a very refreshing taste into this too. You like you get it. A lot of people might disagree with me on this because this one had mixed reviews. But in my books, this has a good review. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Today we got another beer review guys. We got some Miller Lite review. So this is my first time trying Miller Lite. So it's another beer review. We already, we already did Stella and Coors. So now we're gonna, I'm going to be starting a new playlist here, guys. So, anyways, this is another one, 21 plus video since it's alcohol. So, anyways, we got some other light beer here. So we've, so it's Miller Light. It says it's has a just trying to see what ingredients and stuff. 12 ounces. See how much alcohol content and all that in. So honestly, let's give it a try. Okay guys, so honestly, I think it has that really malty, crisp taste. I really like it though, so let me know if you guys tried Miller Lite before. Like I said again, it's 21 plus. You gotta be old enough to watch this. So in my books, this is a solid 7 out of 10. It's alright. Kind of has out. It's like the champagne of beers. Has kind of has that champagne taste in it. That's kind of what I don't like about it. But anyways, other than that, I like it. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers. So that's drink reviews of Chuck's here. We got another review, review here. Another alcohol review. We got the Coors Light review here, guys. So, honestly, this is a 21 plus. If you're not, if you're under the age of 21, you cannot watch. So, anyways, because it's an alcohol review, so this is our second beer review. So, this is... Another alcohol review, so the last beer review, review we did was Stella Artois, so honestly I can't wait to try, give you my opinion on what Coors Light tastes like, so guys, let's go ahead, enough talk, and let's review. Okay guys, so my opinion is that, that it has that really, really sweet malt, and it kind of tastes like corn, but... Overall, it does have a really good taste. I actually like it though. So honestly, let me know what it's going to be like an 8 out of 10. So honestly, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every one of you guys for watching. I'm going to have this while watching the D-backs game. So, they're up 5-2 to two against the Braves and go D-backs. Banquet and Coors Light, so I'm going to give you guys my opinions on both these and decide which one's better. So, start off with Coors Banquet here. So, it has that real solid taste into it. I really like it. It's really good. So, honestly, guys, this is my really good. So, let's see how it holds up against Coors Light. So guys, it's really good. Has really good flavor. 
so I do think that the Coors Banquet's better, has better taste, but they're both really good in my opinion, just, I think Coors Banquet just has more flavor and stuff in it, has more crisp, malty taste into it, so honestly guys, I hope you guys give me, give me, give me your opinions on which you think is better, this is a 9 out of 10, I think this is an 8 out of 10, so honestly, it's a of these, so in this comparison, Coors Banquet takes the KK. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Coors Banquet and Coors Light. So, I'm going to give you guys my opinions on both of these and decide which one's better. So, start off with Coors Banquet here. So, it has that real solid taste into it. I really like it. It's really good. So, honestly, guys, this is my really good. So, let's see how it holds up against Coors Light. So guys, it's really good. It has really good flavor. So I do think that the Coors Banquet's better, has better taste. But they're both really good in my opinion. Just I think Coors Banquet just has more flavor and stuff in it. Has more crisp, malty taste into it. So honestly guys, I hope you guys give me give me give me your opinions on which you think is better. This is a 9 out of 10. I think this is an 8 out of 10. So, honestly, it's a rating of these. So, in this comparison, Coors Banquet takes the KK. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.